Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Ashley Elizabeth. Take a seat and let us play with some makeup. In today's video, I will be exposing all of my deep, dark secrets. For the past couple of months, my Instagram pick game has seriously levelled up and I constantly get questions about how I take and edit my pictures. So here I am to help. So if you would like to see how I take and edit my Instagram makeup photos, then please keep on watching. So first up is how I take my pictures. I don't actually take photographs when I'm doing my makeup. I take videos. So the most important thing before we do anything, let me get my screen record on. Before we do anything, we need to go into our settings and go down to camera. And then there's a bit there saying record video. I have mine at 4K, 30 frames per second. So I only have an iPhone 8, 8 plus. I can still get really clear, sharp videos with it at that setting. I have tried the 60 frames per second setting, but it just takes up far too much memory. So I'm constantly fighting, even for a few seconds of video, I'm constantly fighting to keep up with the memory. So we want it on that. So I just go onto my regular camera, over to video and I have my flash on. So then what I do, I always make sure to use the rear camera because it's so much better than the front camera. I'm not sure what it's like with the newer iPhones, but definitely for this one, it's much better. So as you can see in the footage here, I'm just holding the phone up, using the rear camera. I take on some video footage, getting the positions I like, making sure to get certain things in the light, posing the, the way I like to, everything like that, and just having a little play around. And I find taking videos is a lot easier because it feels a lot more natural. So you're not trying to get a certain pose and taking a picture. It's just sort of whatever natural way your body moves. As well, I much prefer the sort of colouring and the zoom on the videos so if you can see when you're on pictures how far out it's zoomed let me so there's my laptop and then when I slide over to video it just zooms in a little bit more so it's just it's a it's captured a little bit better so once I have taken them videos so I'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you the videos that I took a little bit earlier because I have taken my lipstick off since then but once I've taken them videos, I then go into my camera roll and this is what it's looking like. And I'll just select the video and I'll click pause and I'll just drag along and just see what I like the look of. Now, I don't like this because I feel like my head's tilted too much the other way. So it looks like I've got like a big creak in my neck. So I don't like that video. Same again, pause and drag along. So it straightens it up a little bit there. I feel like as well, because I'm on video, it's picking up those glitter particles much better than a photograph would. So basically all I do is scan through and if I like the look of a certain position, I'm just gonna take a screenshot. See, I don't move much, if you can tell, I do not move much at all in these photos, in these videos, sorry. So then at the end of my camera roll, I'll have a few of these screenshots. So now is the fun part, we're gonna edit. So we're gonna come into Facetune. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab whichever screenshot that I like the look of. So I'm going to go for this one. So this is the photo I've gone with. I just quickly want to mention, even though my background is quite bright at the moment, there is a way to brighten it up. And I did do it quite a bit before I got this light behind me. So basically what you want to do, what you want to do is slide over to filters. And then you want to go into light lighting and click on lighter so see the way that's brightened that up you can see already but i don't want that on my face i want it on my background but i don't want it on my face so you want to click to wipe there and you can get rid of that off your body so if you've got a background that you really want to brighten up and it's just your lighting's not cutting it then this is a good tool to have so you can see there it's still on my hands a little bit on this side of my face, you want to make sure that you don't get it on anything. And just look at the difference that makes. There are three main tools that I use within Facetune. 
So the first thing I always like to do is I like to go in with smooth. So this is just very vain of me and this is my own personal issue, but just let me have it. My forehead, I hate seeing my freckles. So I just like to go in and give just a really light smooth over the top. Then I move down to this area here. So under the eyes, like you can see, I'm getting a bit liney under there. And then I've got really, really enlarged pores sort of down the sides of my nose and around the corners of my mouth. So I do like to just get rid of them. And you can see I'm just really lightly tapping. I'm not doing anything too dramatic with it. And then same along this cheek line over here. All them freckles they need to go so I just do not like the look of them at all and then just to even things out I get this part over here see I like the freckles on my nose but not anywhere else so you can see the difference that has made so we'll tick that the next tool that I like to use is the details tool. I just like this to sort of bring out the shine and things and the more detailed, I guess that's why it's got the detail tool. So the first place I always get my details is on my brow. So I just tap through the brow. I don't know if you can see the difference that makes. And it just makes your hairs stand out a little bit more. So it gives them that more hairy look, especially if you're doing a more fluffy brow. So I just like to tap over them and give them a bit more definition. Then obviously we've got a glittery eye, so I'm just going to tap over some of that glitter lightly. Just to bring it out. So once I zoom out, you can see the difference that's made. It's just brought it forward a little bit more. And then next I like to tap over my highlighter. And it just reinforces it so you can see that's coming through same with my inner corners just brighten them up a little bit and then i do like to catch my eyelashes as well it doesn't matter too much with this look because the eyes are dark but on most others i do like to catch my eyelashes just to make sure that they stand out a little bit more and then what else i like to do is i like to go in when i'm wearing a lip gloss and just tap over that bit of my bottom lip just where the light has caught that gloss, just to make it stand out a little bit more. So you can see already the difference that's making. It just really brightens everything up and makes everything stand out. So we're done with that. So overall, this is what we are looking at. And then finally, the last tool. This one's a little bit of a controversial one because I know a lot of people overly use it and it's a bit of false advertisement but just hear me out. So I like to go into the tones and I just like to reinforce my highlighter just ever so slightly. So you can't really see here. In person, my highlighter is quite bright and it usually is, but normally I can't catch the angle of where you can see the makeup and the highlighter at the same time. So not with every single makeup, but just where, when the times where you can't truly see the highlighter is when I like to go in and enhance a little bit more. So what I like to do, obviously I've got a bit of a pink highlighter going on today. So I'm going to scroll over to pink and I'm going to take it nearly white. So you can see it's just on the bridge there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom right into that cheek and just really lightly tap a little bit along there. And then zoom out and I like to check how it's looking so I don't like the look of that I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to go a little bit more pinky just to really bring that highlight out and then if say a lot of the time I lose my inner corners because obviously the shadow cast from my eyelashes really gets rid of that so I do like to go in and just re-brighten those up just to really enhance just to really enhance those inner corners again make sure we aren't losing it so it's not too much and then if I really wanted to I'd go in and do my nose so I'll just show you how I do like a normal coloured highlighter. So I go over to yellow and go to pretty much almost white because this highlighter was a really light one and I'll zoom right in and just lightly tap 
on those parts. Zoom back out and see what we're looking like there. I just feel like it really brings out those parts that are standing out anyway in person but they're just not caught on camera. Fabulous. So that is all for face tune. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save that to camera roll and I'm gonna hop out of Facetune and I'm gonna go into this other app here called Lightroom. So I really, really like this app at the moment for editing. So I'm just gonna get my picture in there. So this is the one we've just done. So what, there's only two tools I like to use in this app. So first I'm gonna go into color and I like to scroll down to Vibrance and I just like to bring me Vibrance up so that's on 40 and then if you press and hold on the picture it shows you what it used to be. So this is great if you're using colourful eyeshadows because it just helps them pop. So you could have the sickest rainbow ever on your eyes and then once you've taken your picture it just completely washes out. This brings everything back into play. So you can see it's not a huge difference. So that's on 39, it's not a massive difference, it's just like... It's a kinder saturation. So sometimes when you up your saturation, it goes like orange. It's just a little bit nicer than that and it just brings all your colors back. So I really like that tool. The second tool I like is I go into effects. So I don't know if you've noticed, but recently my pictures have got like a bit of a grain over them and I just prefer this, this edit to my photos at the moment. So I, I kind of like the way it ends up with the texture on my skin and things like that. So I'm on effects and I'm going to scroll down to green and I up that to about 20, never any more than 20. So once I've, I've zoomed in, you can see, if I press and hold what it used to look like, you can see it just adds a little green to my skin. I feel like it's a bit grungy, I kind of like that effect. And that's it for that app, so I'm going to tick that, then I need to press on then I will just press back on that picture and save it to my camera roll. And then finally, I'm going to head over to Instagram and I'm going to click a new post and that one is selected for us. And then I do a few little edits within Instagram. So one thing, if you are screenshotting from a video, if you're screenshotting a picture from a video, you will lose a lot of your quality. So it won't be as sharp as a picture. But if we just head over to our sharpen, and I always up that to about four, between like 35 and 45. And if I just press on the screen, you can see, and that just enhances our glitter a little bit more too. So I'm done with that. And then I drop my shadows to about 10 to 15. So this really enhances like your contour. It really brings stuff like that out. If you've got a dark smoky eye, it'll really deepen that. So it looks like how it looks in person. So that's what we're looking at so far. The differences, they are, they are very subtle differences, but they make a difference. Depending on the picture, I like to go into saturation and I'll never up this more than five. So see, it just gives me a little bit of life back to my skin. It looks a little bit more colourful, a little bit more tanned. So yeah, I like the way that's looking. And sometimes if my pictures are looking a little bit too warm, I'll go in and take out the warmth. So they're not looking too yellow. They've got a little bit more of a blue tone to them. So the way I do it, I'd normally, the, the amount of warmth I take out is normally double the saturation that I've put in. So I did five saturation and now I'm taking 10 out of the warmth. So you can see the difference there. So then all I do is go in, save that for later, save my draft. And then when I'm ready to post, it's there and it's good to go for us. So that is all that is, there is to it. So you can see, like I still use edits like Facetune and things like that. But I try not to, I try not to use Facetune to fix makeup so i got stuck in that hole a long time ago of oh it's fine it doesn't matter i'll just face tune it but that is the worst hole to get stuck in so even though i use face tune i don't rely on face tune to give me the required look that i want so everything you see is what you get it's just a few enhancements to help with my self-esteem and 
just bring back to life what sort of got lost as we've taken our pictures and that our lighting might not necessarily be capturing. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. It was a very highly requested one. If you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up and while you're down there, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. But thank you so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.